Hello, spirit friends. Kevin here. Hello, spirit friends. Kevin here. Hello, spirit friends. Kevin here. Wondering if I could approach you with a question. Wondering if I could approach you with a question. Wondering if I could approach you with a question. And it's in regards to Jesus. And it's in regards to Jesus. And it's in regards to Jesus. I wanted to ask you about the burial cloth that was used for Jesus to put his body in after the crucifixion. They call it the Shroud of Turin. Do you know what I'm speaking of? This burial cloth, I believe, came out. They discovered it around 50 or 60 AD. And on the cloth, you can see an imprint of a person, a man, and it's been tested, and it appears this is of a man who has been crucified in the original or traditional manner of crucifixion. Can you tell me, this shroud, this burial shroud that they have, on display, I think in the Vatican, perhaps? Is that the original shroud used for Jesus Christ? A lot of people would like to know because there are really two questions around that cloth. Is it of a man who was crucified? And was that man Jesus? If we can determine that it was Jesus, then we would have an idea of what Jesus looked like. I know it's pretty much irrelevant spiritually, but it's nice to know that if it is a fact, the cloth belonging to him, there's a strong assurance of the ability to have salvation through Jesus, because the stories would match what the Bible says. Can we say with certainty that that cloth belonged to Jesus? It was the cloth that his body was placed on and then placed into the tomb, which he rose from three days later and walked the earth again for, I think, another 40 days with his disciples. Is that the truth? Thank you for helping me. If you have any other messages pertaining to that or wish to say anything else, please go ahead. Thank you so much, my friends. Go right ahead.
I want to thank you and tell you I love you as always. Thank you for all your help. And if this message can get to Jesus, if you can get him this message or if he hears my message directly, I want to say thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for us. And I love you. And thank you for loving me, even though I don't deserve it. So thank you all. We'll talk to you soon, my friends. God bless. Bye-bye.